Good morning. It is Sunday, February 16th. It's uh, 7 o'clock a.m. and it's about 27 degrees out. It's cold. Um, Bill's here. I saw him as I pulled in. Eric's not here yet. Um, so I'm going to go scope out what Bill's got. Um, Eric said he saw him at an auction yesterday. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what he picked up. Um, I'm looking forward to buying from him again. Hopefully he's got some good stuff for us. So I'm going to get out there. I'm going to go freeze my tush off for y'all and see what I can film and uh, see what we can buy. And I'll get back to you in a little bit. All right. You can tell Bill's here. The feed me crowd is here. All right. Let's go look at Bill's stuff. Let's see what we got. Should be replaceable on those. Those are cool. What's this guy? That's a lamp. That's cool. I like that. Painted McCoy. That's interesting. Somebody turn that into a lamp. These are a little beat up. I'm not too sure on those, so we're gonna leave those. But these guys are cool. Let's see what else we can get. That's not the rule. Tiny tools. Linen box. Let's go in this direction. Let's see if I can get through. in a bit all right before I lock this stuff away in the car from Bill's I'll show you I spent $120 at Bill's um, I grabbed these Hummels look the Hummel market is not the greatest but for what these cost me um, it, it's not gonna hurt my grandmother collected these so they kind of have a little special place in in my heart um, so I will continue to pick these up if I can get them cheap enough um, my aunt's got most of my grandmother's Hummels I've got one um, oh wow, that one's cool. Is that one dated? Yeah, that one's dated 1948. So that's just post-war. That's cool. Um, but yeah, so I grabbed these. Uh, I think he charged me 50 bucks for all seven of them. So that's less than $10 a piece. And for a couple of the pieces here, especially this one, this is an older piece. Um, it's got the large V and B. This is pre-war. This is a pre-war piece. Um, I like him. They all have names. Little helper. Um, it's probably I was like the the wandering whistler or something silly like that. I don't know. We'll have to look them up. I have books on Hummels. 
Of course I do. I have books on everything. Um, speaking of books, I got some books. We'll have to look at those later. I got that funky piece of McCoy. Um, I grabbed this little bird toothpick holder thing with the wishbone and uh, I don't know, it's marked Derby Silver Company. Probably silver plate. Still really cool. Um, mice playing on the back of a swan because that's always fun. We got some uh, ruby glass, 1900. Uh, one of them's actually 1899, one's I think 1905. And we got some other little odds and ends in here. So we'll go over this a little more fine tuned uh, later on. But uh, for now, I'm off to the crowd that's waiting at Eric's van. We have to go see our Ken doll. All right, he said he's got a full load today, so. I'm going to shoot over there. Oh, I did grab one other thing. I did grab this uh, display case here for myself because I can always use display cases. So in the meantime, I'm going to go hit Eric's booth. And then when we get done there, we'll go hit Dave's booth and see if we can find some stuff there. And we're going to have a good day. All right. See you in a bit. Golfing stones kind of cool. Kind of modern, no? Let's see. Got here Sunbury milk products. That's an applied color label. It's in really, really rough shape. I'm um, not familiar with the dairy. Yeah, they're pink. Those are kind of neat. Yeah. Ooh, a glow on that. That's gonna glow. Sorry. Got some diamonds back here. What do we got? What's back in your onion punch? There's a couple I might have. Oh, she's probably broken. Is she broken? Uh, she's not. Uh, she's got a couple little flower doinks there. Yep, this is broken up in here. That's a shame. Yeah, I see all the pieces down the bottom of the box. That's sad. These are kind of cool. They're not marked. Half liter. She's got a little bit of damage to her. It's a shame. It's it's sad. Sheet music. Is that Annie? Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? Let's see, stamps. Stay away from stamps. Stay as far away from stamps as you possibly can. Ooh. Cubs. Ooh. Wrigley Field, Ugh. go Phillies. What's this guy? Where's... Oh, I see. He's gonna sit there. Alright. One's missing, each one's missing one. Some Air Force uniforms. Oh, that's for reenactors. Reenactors. 
metals. I know what those are. Good. They're shooting metals. Excellent. I'm not too big of a plane. Yeah, let's see. This one's for Hunters Nationals Artillery Rifled Cannon. Second place. Artillery Mortar, first place. And this one. That's cool. What's that? Avon Mary Elfkins. Oh my god. Festive fragrance soaps. Oh, thank you. I'll stick to my axe. It smells better, probably. Alright, we'll be back shortly. These are cool. Apothecary jars. It's got a nice label on it. Schmokin PA. These are all open pawned. These are nice. These are older ones. These labels would have been hand painted. Um, Paul was kind enough to let me film some of the stuff that he's picking out. He picks up some good stuff. He does interior decorating. And he's got a, a booth over at Bedford that we buy from. Oh, that's a monster. Jeez. But, uh, yeah. So he picks out some cool stuff. He likes some of these big metal items. Um, decoratives, out, outdoor stuff. He's got some really cool stuff over there. So if you get a chance, Bedford Street, Paul's got some great stuff. Alright. I'll see you in a little bit. These look familiar. Just uh, picked up one of these at uh, Goodwill in Lancaster not too long ago. There's two more of them here with the older Lennox mark. So I'm going to grab these to go with the other one. Picked up that piece of white and pink milk glass. And uh, I'm going to grab these. These are still laying there. So I'm going to grab them. My pile's small this week trying to behave myself a little bit because we got a ton of stuff that needs to get listed and it's just not getting listed so oh we're getting a little overwhelmed so I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit we're gonna still get stuff so we'll see you in a little bit all right we're gonna stop here at Dave's booth and see what kind of treasures and trinkets he might have oh, look at that a bunch of Boy Scout mugs What in the heck is that thing? What in the world is that? That's interesting. What in the hell is it? Heck. Oh, I see. Impossible Dream. It's a music box. Oh, it's like a little jewelry box. Okay. It doesn't close very well, but it's kind of cool looking. Oh, it's got initials on it. Okay. Now, the seal. Oh, is that a Canadian, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure what that seal is. It's kind of cool. Not my wheelhouse, though. Some old photographs. I like old photographs. Sometimes you can find some really cool subject matter. Got some New York National Guard. Got some Navy boys. Some college grads. Uh, let's see. Not a whole heck of a lot down here today. Um, I probably missed a bunch because I'm not here when Dave puts his stuff out. I haven't got the timing down yet for that. What's this guy here? 
I mean, they're also. Oh, the mouche. Oh, I like that piece. I'm gonna grab that piece. I like that blue. I really like that. Straight outside of the PA. See anything else up here? What's this little bottle here? <sighs> Perfume of some kind. Machine made post 1910. Uh, doesn't super excite me. Pencils. USS North Carolina Battleship Memorial. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to get that. Mm -hmm. Long server, the good cough syrup. Never heard of it. Can't be that good. It's not around anymore. Alright. Well, I'm going to grab these two items and find out how much they are. And uh, I'll get back with you. See you in a bit. Alright. Forget Seductive Angel. We've got a new mascot. And he's going to go on my desk. This is Seductive Gnome. Hey, Eric. Do you think you could make the same position? <laughs> like, lay down on the ground and make this, make this, like, do this? For the, for the ladies? No? Uh, yeah. Maybe? Yeah, maybe. I'll give you 20 bucks. Alright, oh, for 20 bucks, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I gotta grab the Seductive Gnome. He's, he's a must-have. He looks pretty chill. Yeah, he's pretty chill. He, he might wind up on my desk. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But he's coming with me regardless. Alright, so in the box with the seductive gnome, who's going to sit there for the moment and just smile at us. He's going to smile. Look, how, look at that stupid smile on his face. He's just so happy and seductive. Okay. We got... These are almost always missing their bowls. That's a shame. This one's in yellow. I usually see them in black. This uh, this Hager cat. Um, we got a Cocker Spaniel in there. We've got a squirrel. We've got another bird on a bird. Feeder. Another Cocker Spaniel. This piece is cool. Where do we pull this out? This is a uh, butter dish. And inside the glass insert is actually a cow. It's EAPG. Nice, nice early piece there. Um, it's Plate, but it's Reed and Barton, which is a better name for Plate. So, I'm happy with that. Here's a couple things in here. Um, I've got a short box down there. There's the two pieces I bought from Dave. Don't break it. If you don't break it, don't break it. There's some Hadley. Ooh, Hadley. Oh, those are cool. Yes. Ooh, this Oh, he's cool. Uh -huh. I like him. Trying like heck to break the. Uh, oh, the little glasses. Oh, there's a decanter in there as well. Yeah, I see a couple more glasses here. This is Brush McCoy. Ooh. The old stank eye. The Delft? Yeah. Yeah, it is. All right. Actually, oh, okay, so that's a little different. That's done in Belgium. Mm -hmm. That's not the Dutch Delft. That's different. It's a little different, but that's cool. I like the sea captain. I love that. That's pretty cool. Steely eyed. We got some uh, more pewter. Pewter. These are cool though. These are actually already attributed. Um, I got a few at home that we bought at, a, at auction. Um, these are already identified for me, which is great. So these are, I mean, look at this. Circa 1820, circa 1830. I mean, really like this is what people were eating out of this is amazing this one's got some hebrew it looks like scrolled into it almost i don't know is that what does that look like on there i don't know that almost looks like a hebrew symbol carved into it i don't know that could be an, an additional touch mark or something yeah um but yeah they've got the history on here 1836 that's that's pretty awesome. Oh, there's the decanter. Get the alphabet plate. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's gorgeous. That's got a. Should be wrapped up. Yep, it's sitting right here. Yes. 
and then there are little glasses to go with it too. That's amazing. All right. Put that down in. All right. Well. Oh, that's cool. Redware. Redware bank. And actually, I have some of the original ones. Um, these were colonial style banks. This is this is a late this is a more modern piece uh, obviously, but I have I've dug these in outhouses the original 1700s ones, right. um, and usually they're busted because the kids would yeah, bust sure. them open and throw them in the outhouse to get rid of it after they got their coins out, <laughs> right. but occasionally occasionally and I have one that's not busted, which is really cool. So these this this is a cool design for those of you that may never see or be able to afford a colonial coin bank. This Eldrith piece is really cool. I like that. All right, man. Ooh, Roly Polies. Are they in there? Yeah, that's the original box too. Killer. Yeah, federal. Heck yeah. I love the design on them. I'll try not to break anything too. Oh, isn't cheap fancy? All right. A little risque. A little bit. Maybe a little Toby. He's not a uh, Dalton, but he's still English. That's I'm cool. Shorter in sons. Yeah, no, that's cool. I like him. I like the Tobies. They're cool. All right. Well, I think I'm going to square up here, maybe take one more poke through um, Bill's boxes over his way. and <sighs> I'm cold. I want to go home. Probably take a nice hot shower and just burn the snot out of myself because I can't feel my fingers at this point so um yeah you don't get to double charge me for that stuff I bought off of Dave though no 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 this is how no this is how he tries to get me this is this is this is how he tries to get me I, I just can't handle it all right we'll see you guys in a little bit we're gonna do something a little different we're gonna shop with Eric at He's Bill's booth it. He's gonna get us a little wrench there you yeah fix it on the farm Bunch of old vintage toys there. I like that stuff. MPC. Yep. <laughs> he's not pooping, is he? Yeah, no, he's not. He's not naughty enough. Perf, perf. What else we got? With some fishing stuff. Oh, I thought that was a bottle of beer. I was ready to crack it. <laughs> nope. Ginger ale. Rats. Army toys. Let's see what else we got floating around over here. I looked at this earlier. Still here. It's a shame it's busted. There. Otherwise, I'd grab it. It's adorable. This is an older piece. It's probably about a hundred years old. This is probably at least a hundred years old. This souvenir Reading Fair. Yep. Hand painted. Early milk glass. Yeah, I'll grab that. This was in the box here earlier when I came through, so. Oh, I know. Still here. Rescue it. I'll rescue it. I like it. What else we got in here? It's a saucer. Yeah, it's a hundred years old too. Yes. Yeah, it's Leeds, Staffordshire. Hand painted. Yeah, it's hand painted. Sterling everywhere. Oh, look at that. Yeah, let's pick that up for you this morning. The ducks. I like the shape of that. That's an oddball little shape too. A little mid-century flair. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I'll grab that one. See, this is why you got to come back through a few times because you never know what you're gonna miss or what you did miss or oh it's kind of cool made in malawi all right let's see It's kind of cool. It's kind of Mexican theme. It's Southwest theme, yeah. Yeah, you could go with. Uh, Look at the guy with the, the collection. The guy with the burrow. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. Can you see the uh, maps for individual states? This can be typically pretty collectible. It's really not that nice. Tablecloth? Yeah, they'll pair it with you know, Fiesta or Yeah, 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 yeah. Laray or some of the colorful pottery from the forties and fifties. What's this one say? Does this one say Gazintite? Not quite sure what that one says, but it's in German. Yep, it looks like it's in German. You know what? We're gonna grab these. Let's see what else we can grab. Got some Christmas ornaments, but they're in pretty rough shape. How you doing, Bill? Alright. Having fun today? Oh yeah. <laughs> do 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 do. Did you find yourself some postcards? Indeed. I think he's in there. I look wrong. Some roadside. Yeah, New Jersey. Forge. Shellfish center. What's that? I got some scalp patches in there. You know, you know me, I'm the shellfish guy. Yeah. There's the queen. Look at that one. Got it. Four cents. Whoo! All right. Well, it is the afternoon and. Seductive gnome and I are just kind of hanging out in my car at home. No. Um, yeah, so I'm back at the house. I actually ran out of space on the SD card at the market. Oops. So, um, I didn't get to film too much more, but uh, I didn't get to film anything else after it died on me. But uh, just want to give you a quick wrap up and let you know that uh, we did get some great stuff at. at Bills and Eric's and I got some good stuff at Dave's today and I got my little little seductive gnome here it's my new little buddy I like him hey little buddy you're so quiet why don't you talk more you should be more seductive anyway <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing I have issues anyway all right well Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoy some of the stuff that uh, we picked up and the fun banter. Um, look forward to doing this every week. It's uh, it's freezing cold in the morning. Sometimes it's dark when I get there, but it's what I live for. I love it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. So, tell me a little more about yourself. Do you like holding hands? Long walks on the beach. Guys named Eric. <sighs> it's just a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's just a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.